Hey guys, Francis here with the Brim Factor bringing you an update on Gray.co and the news is that the Gray.co USD virtual account is back. But there are a few things you need to know about the USD virtual account that Gray has just finished working on. And so to understand how the new USD virtual account works, this is a guide that we are going to go through, an article by Gray. And here you can see they say some countries are not supported and there is a list of countries and i'm just going to click here to show you the list of countries that are not supported so funds sent from banks or countries on this list will be rejected or automatically fail and then for payment schemes here they say that your virtual usd account is addressable in only wire and swift transfers and this is very important i'm going to show you if you stick with me to the very end of the video how this relates to places like paypal and payoneer so um, they also say that ACH transfers are not supported yet as well. Uh, the account type is checking. Um, if a local US address is required, the bank's address can be used as the beneficiary's address. And then for charges, receiving payments either via SWIFT or wire transfer has a 1% fee just a little bit more than what you would get on GegPay. So if I switch over to GegPay here and you look at their fees, it's about 0.9% while on Gray it's 1%. Very small uh, difference there. And then receiving wire transfers from the US can take up to 24 to 48 working hours. And then finally, there's a note here that says sending any other currency to your USD account can attract an extra currency conversion fee and the conversions would be done at the bank's rate and anytime bank rate is mentioned people usually run away so in a nutshell if you receive your money in usd best to send to your usd virtual account so that you're not going to attract that um extra charges of conversion and using the bank rates and all of that stuff so that is all we need to know for this account right now so now if i head over to my account section on gray we have a new account actually this used to be they used to partner with jp morgan so I'm going to try to link this to my PayPal so that you can see what the problem is that I wanted to show you guys. So if I go here um, to my PayPal, I go to account settings, I go to money, bank and cards, and I have already removed the JP Morgan account that I got from Gray before because that is not functional anymore. So now I am going to try to link a new bank, the new um, Silver Gate Bank that I just received. And I'm going to scroll down and click on link a US bank account. It's checking. So I have copied the account number right there and you can see this is the problem. So let me go back and take the routing number. This is the routing number. And if I drop that in, you can see the routing number works and it's detected that it's a Silvergate bank um, routing number. But the problem is the account number is not working. It says, please check your account number. And if you try to link this, it's not going to work. Some of you guys brought this to my notice. You messaged me on Instagram and saying it was difficult to link this account um, to your PayPal. And the truth is it might be impossible to link the account. And this is the reason I had to contact the gray support. Um, I messaged them. I said, um, my new USD virtual account seems to have an issue. It's returning an invalid error message. They did reply and they told me that Francis, thank you for contacting us. This is the new account number and it is not invalid. It's actually very valid. You should note that we currently support Swift and wire transfer, just like I read to you on the guideline. They only support Swift and wire transfers at the moment. So Swift means international wire transfers. So technically, if these platforms pay with a US bank, they can't use this. So SWIFT is for receiving payments from outside of the US. Within the US, ACH and WIRE, which is the domestic WIRE or Fed WIRE is supported. We only support WIRE transfers for now. So my guess is that PayPal pays out from, of course it's a US company, so they pay out using the ACH transfer method, which Gray seem not to be supporting at the moment. So they're only saying they can support SWIFT and WIRE transfers. So any company that does not use what Gray support will mean that they're not going to be able to link this new US bank account number to that platform and it's not going to work on PayPal. I'm sorry guys, but that's the reality of things right now. But let's go on and try to see if we can link this account to Payoneer. So now on Payoneer, I'm going to go to bank and cards. I'm going to click on bank accounts for withdrawal. And then I'm going to select add a bank account. And it's going to be personal. The country is of course the United States of America. And then I am going to select the currency as USD and click on next. And now some of you have asked me this question before when you're trying to enter a bank name that is not listed on Payoneer. So if you, if you, if we click here now and type in Silvergate, you see that Silvergate is not available. So what you want to do is select other 
and then you're going to um, enter in the name of the bank in the next box where it says bank name so i'm going to enter in silver gate there and then i can enter in my um, account holder name and then go on to enter in the account number the routing number and the account type so now i've entered in the account number the routing number the account type is checking and i click on i confirm the bank account details above there and then i click on next so confirm payoneer account details by entering my date of birth and password and i click on add bank account so let's see what's going to happen we've already established that this does not work on paypal but now on payoneer it seems that it's gone through but it's going to take about um, 30 minutes like they said here to approve this so we'll see how that goes but in other news the gray.co app is now live so they now have an ios app and an android app that you can get on your phone as you can see here i've already downloaded it and this is what it looks like um, pretty neat um, so you can go through your activities here and see all of your transactions if you click on more you can go in just pretty much all that you have on the web version you now have on the app so you can have this on the go which is really nice i just wanted to bring that to you guys just in case you did not know that the app was live it is now live so that's all that you need to know about this account it does not work on paypal but it works on payoneer but then again you can send the account details to one of your clients who is not from one of the countries that is not supported by gray at the moment and they can do you a transfer but of course if they are transferring from the us they cannot use the ach um, method they can only use swift for now to do transfers to you please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video take care